find the neutral current in an unbalanced system, we can do one of two methods. We can either find the current graphically, which we're going to do right now, or we can do it by formula, which will come up next. So, um, here I have three currents in a system. If we had the same current on each line, then we would have a balanced system and no neutral. But because we're out of balance, we have a neutral current. So we're going to do a simple scaled diagram. I stress it must be scaled. You're going to need a ruler and a protractor to do this accurately. So step one, we take the first current, which is 10 amps. You need to decide a scale that would enable you to fit your diagram onto your paper. And we're going to draw a line proportional to 10 amps. So I'm going to say that this is 10 amps. This straight line that represents a current and its two scale is called a phaser. So this is a type of phaser diagram. So to do the next current, we're going to use exactly the same scale and we're going to use our protractor. So there is the very end of the line and you put the protractor on there and you're going to measure 120 degrees around because that's how far apart the phases are. So 120 degrees and we're going to draw to the same scale a line that is 30 amps. So whatever scale you use there, this one, that'll do. This is going to be 30. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that step for the final current, which is 20 amps. Get your protractor, put it on the very end of the line you just completed. Put a mark, and we then want 20. So I'm going to do that. It's not accurate, my diagram, but yours will be. So that's 20 amps. And the whole purpose of this diagram is the difference from where you started to where you finished is your neutral current. So this is IN, the neutral current. And you measure it. And if you've done this accurately, you should come up with 17.3 amps. Okay, so just a quick consideration of some different scenarios. If we had three equal currents in a system, so let's suppose each current was 50 amps, then you're going to draw a line that is 50. Come around 120 degrees, draw another line that is 50. Come round, oops, 120 degrees draw another line that is 50 and you'll find that if they're all equal then where you start is where you finish. In other words there is no neutral current. One final example. Let's suppose we had 25 amps on the first two phases and nothing on the third phase. So we will draw a line to scale. This is 25. Measure around 120 degrees and draw the next one, 25. Those are the two currents in the system. So the neutral current is this one. So when you have two equal currents and nothing on a third phase, then the neutral current is the same as one of the other currents. 